You obviously don't die right away. Nicotine is pretty deadly stuff, as it turns out. The foods that contain, uh, foods that are in the same family as the tobacco plant also have toxins in them. Eggplant, tomatoes, potatoes, sweet peppers, hot peppers. These are generally called nightshade vegetables, and tobacco is an example of a nightshade vegetable. And these, uh, these kinds of, uh, this family of plants contain some pretty particularly nasty plant toxins, natural pesticides that can exacerbate all kinds of inflammatory health issues, especially arthritis. If you have arthritis, you really want to be aware of these nightshade vegetables, uh, eggplants, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, as well as nicotine. So, nicotine is an acetylcholine mimicking transmitter, albeit a toxic one because of its similarity to natural biochemistry. We, we make our own nicotine like substances. The body becomes used to nicotine. And this is what nicotine addiction is. Nicotine enters the brain with great ease and in short order, the brain, uh, uh, the brain becomes to depend on nicotine and we become to depend on nicotine. That's called addiction. Nicotine is as addictive as heroin. It's as addictive as cocaine. Two other substances, by the way, that are similar to natural biochemicals. And anyone who's had to quit smoking can tell you that getting off nicotine is really, really tough. Nicotine is made from vitamin B3. That's another uh, uh, interesting phenomenon in biochemistry. Nicotine and vitamin B3, niacin, are very similar. Nicotine in the body is actually made from vitamin B3. Another relaxing molecule, you may have heard of something called nicotinic acid. This is a uh, form of nicotine, also a form of niacin. I don't say form of, but very similar molecules. And one helpful strategy for weaning yourself off of tobacco is to use timed release niacin in high doses, maybe 200 to 400 milligrams a day. Of course, make sure you're, uh, whenever you take one of the B vitamins, you want to make sure that you're balancing out with the rest of the B vitamins. If you're going to use nicotine, uh, I should say niacin, time release niacin to wean yourself off of nicotine, make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with your time release niacin. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine contains all your B vitamins in generous amounts. Okay. Uh, time to hear our phones. 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to James in Virginia. What's going on, James? Welcome to the bright side. Wow, I'm delighted to get on so quickly. I can't believe it. Anyway, um, quick question. Uh, well, actually, I got two, but I didn't tell the pre screener about the second one. But anyway, the first one is uh, my wife has hypopituitarism, and okay. she's taking uh, uh, le- 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 levothyroxine. For her pituitary? Uh, you sure it's not the thyroid? No, that's what it is. And, uh, hmm. well, that's what they say. Anyway, but she's taking. Levi thyroxine, okay. 75 micrograms, and also she's taking hydrocortisone, 20 okay. milligrams. Okay. Now, how old is your wife? She's 68. And uh, height to weight, is she overweight at all or underweight at all? Uh, maybe slightly overweight. Her belly is a little bit uh, fat, but uh, she's pretty tiny. But she's All right. Now, the, the pituitary gland, if you've got a pituitary disorder, you got to have some other stuff going on. That doesn't just happen. All of a sudden, what's your health history? Does she have any kind of? You know, uh, it, it seems I've only I've been married to her for two and a half years, but um, she she had uh, some severe hemorrhaging uh, with her last child. Uh, oh, okay. Years ago, oh, okay. All right. That, so she had some hormonal problems her whole life. Probably is that would that have been the case? Problems with periods or problems getting pregnant or anything like that. Uh, I don't think any problems. You, don't, you, well, you, you may not know if you've only been married to her for a couple of years, and yeah, she's, well, six, she's, she's from, 60 uh, years South old. America. She's from South America. Diana grew up there. She's only been over here for like 30 years, so I don't know what some of that. Okay, well, here's what you got to do. You got, as I said so many times, this program, the longest journey begins with a single step. We got to start where we can, where we can start. You can't treat the pituitary without treating the rest of the body. First things first. Digestive system, first things first. Now, there's no way that she doesn't have any digestive problems. If, if, she, if she's truly hypopituitary, she's got to have some digestive problems just from that. But chances are she hasn't been processing her fats, uh, her fatty, uh, fatty nutrients, essential fatty acids, and fats from foods for a long time. That usually is what happens if she's got problems, uh, either fertility problems or reproductive problems or menstrual problems or any kind of problems with the female reproductive system, as well as problems with the pituitary gland. Chances are she hasn't been processing her her fats for a long period of time. So I'd be focusing, number one, on using fatty vitamins and fatty nutrients, first of all. That would be things like the essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs, uh, vitamin A, vitamin E. She runs serious. She's going to run some serious uh, problems with deficiencies in these vitamins if she doesn't really start addressing these quickly. Uh, 20,000 international units of vitamin A, 400 international units of vitamin E. Uh, She probably would be wise to get on maybe 5,000 micrograms of vitamin K2 a day. 
and then uh, making sure she's getting uh, some significant sun. Uh, not burning, though, but some significant okay. sun to get her vitamin D3, her vitamin D. And then also uh, using the essential fatty acids, especially fish oil, will get her some vitamin D as well and make sure she's getting her omega-3s as well as her omega-6s. That's one of the neat things about the ultimate essential fatty acids is you'll get both the omega-3s and the omega-6s. Then you want to make sure that you're absorbing fats, that you're processing fats out of the digestive system, and there's lots of great nutrients for that. Uh, if you want to use the ultimate enzymes from longevity, if you want to use the longevity products, get on the ultimate enzymes. Uh, the Biolumin Nightly Essence is really interesting. We don't we'll touch we touch on that periodically as far as it regards fat metabolism. This is one of the hidden gems, uh, hidden benefits I should say of of uh, probiotics of good bacteria is they help you process fats. And without fat, if you can't process fats, you can't make hormones. Uh, so making sure she's processing fats at the gut level, absorbing those fats is important. That would be the Biolumin Nightly Essence. And then uh, in addition to the Ultimate Enzymes, you may want to throw in some bile salts. You can get bile salts. Uh, you can get bile salts by themselves at a health food store. There is some bile salts in the Ultimate Enzymes. And then one of my favorite, all-time favorite, fat processing nutrients is lecithin. Lecithin not only will help you absorb fats, but it's also a good source of choline, which we just talked about, which on its own can help you process fats. Choline is also important for sugar metabolism, and that leads to my second, uh, the second subject, which is helping her use sugar, helping her body use sugar. Hang tight, James. We've got to take a break. Uh, we'll come back, we'll, we'll come back uh, and finish up, and if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie Guy. There's no reason why you shouldn't live to be at least 100 and have a great time getting there. And I'm going to give you a free copy of my lecture that tells you exactly how to do it. In fact, after you've lived a long and healthy life, there should be only two documents in your medical chart, a birth certificate and a death certificate. I'm Dr. Wallach with a warning. If you have a four-inch medical chart, if you take prescription drugs for high cholesterol, high blood pressure, arthritis, joint pains, and other health issues, the medical profession is failing you. They're using you for an ATM machine. My free lecture is going to reveal what pharmaceutical companies don't want you to know. There's been groundbreaking research and discovery on how to effectively treat or eliminate over 900 different diseases naturally. It's all in my free lecture called Deadly Recipe. So call toll-free 1-855-79-YOUNG. Again, that's toll-free 1-855-79-YOUNG. 1-855-79-YOUNG. So my elementary school age child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. The TalkStream Live app for iPhone, iPad, and Android is the fastest and easiest way to access live talk radio anytime, anywhere. Download the free TalkStream Live app right now and see for yourself. You'll enjoy instant access to the best in live talk radio. Find your favorite shows and discover some new ones. The TalkStream Live app is available in the App Store, the Google Play Store, or visit TalkStreamLive.com. That's TalkStreamLive.com. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. 
limited number of free programs available. Call now, 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses. Products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a big Berkey at bigberkeywaterfilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1 877 99 Berkey. That's 877 99 B E R K E Y. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are Cheese. Okay, we are back on the bright side talking to James in Virginia. James, I'm going to go a little bit quick here, okay, my man? Uh, there's an, in addition to all the digestive stuff, you also want to make sure that she's stabilizing her blood sugar. Sometimes diabetes can be involved with hypopituitarism. And that means staying away from foods that mess up her blood sugar, as well as using nutrients that help her stabilize her blood sugar. We talked about choline before we went to the break. That can be helpful. Also, the B, the B vitamins, very helpful. In fact, the B vitamins are probably your main nutrients for everything, for the pituitary, for the diabetes, for the or potential diabetes, and also for, uh, for also for digestive health. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine for that. Uh, let's see, the sweeties young, from longevity, chromium and vanadium can help keeping her away from sugar, uh, insulin spiking and blood sugar spiking foods, fruit juices and breads and pastas. That's always going to be a good idea. Yeah. There's also, uh, you know, you, you mentioned that she was on, uh, she, they're giving her uh, a, a, a thyroid medicine, levothyroxine. Uh, which tells me there may be some kind of link to her to hypothyroidism. They may suspect that there's a hypothyroid link. Is she does she have constipation or is she losing her hair, dry skin or anything like that? A problems um, with cold, cold extremities, uh, fingers, maybe, toes. Uh, some hair turning gray, uh, a little bit thinning. Well, yeah. that's not too significant. Does she have cold extremities, fingers and toes, and that kind of thing? Is she? Is she... Yeah, 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 occasionally, yeah, complaints. Okay, like that. And she probably does have a thyroid problem, which means that there's probably some kind of connection to the adrenal glands. There's an important link between your stress glands and your pituitary, and the fact that she's hypothyroid tells me that she may be burnt out at the adrenal level. And there's a couple things you want to do for that. Uh, using Celtic sea salt and water that may help her. Uh, the mineral zinc may help her, 50 milligrams of zinc a day. And then the uh, vitamin C, which uh, Dr. Thomas Levy calls the primal panacea, that may right. be helpful for the adrenal glands, and it's just helpful for everything. 1,000 to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day, you'll get some vitamin C in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And then last but not least, if she's, hypo, if she's hypopituitary, chances are she's not making melatonin, and that can have some really, really negative effects. Melatonin, uh, I just did a blog post on melatonin, actually, where I wrote that melatonin is not just for sleep, even though, most of us know that melatonin is, is involved in sleep. She probably has a little insomnia, too, I would guess. Yeah. Uh, and that's a sign that, there's, uh, that she's deficient in melatonin. And, and being deficient in melatonin can lead to cancer. Being deficient in melatonin can lead to accelerated aging. Being deficient in melatonin can lead to a lot of big problems, heartburn, digestive problems. So maybe she might want to try three to six milligrams of a sublingual, that is under the tongue, version of melatonin and have her suck on that uh, three to six milligrams, one to two sublingual tablets before she goes to bed. So lots of good ideas there for you. Uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to ask me? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, quickly, it's probably somewhat related. Uh, she was discovered some hepatitis uh, uh, a few months ago or maybe last year. I forgot when it was. But uh, apparently it was gotten from blood transfusions in South America some years ago. Well, um, you know, you can't. 
if she has hepatitis, and the way the way you treat hepatitis, no matter what kind of hepatitis it is or where it came from, is you got to be kind and loving to the body, especially in terms of the digestive system and in terms of toxicity, and that includes prescription drugs that you put into the body. The liver does all kinds of stuff, but it's mainly a digestive organ and a detoxification organ. That means being really, really careful with the kind of food she's eating and eating less food if possible, using more nutrients but less calories, using the uh, using a nutritional supplement program but not eating a lot of food, and then and secondly, if she's on prescription drugs, try to keep her dose down as much as possible. Or if she can wean herself off those prescription drugs, that would be great as well. Keeping poisons yeah, out of the body, whether they're digestive poisons or drug poisons, 